Our ship left Japan just after Christmas, and we were once again bound for our previous loading port of Kalama, Washington, in the U.S. We spent the new year at sea, and thankfully, the weather was quite calm during our party. But since it was winter time, and we were crossing the Northern Pacific, we encountered rough seas for a good portion of our voyage. The rough crossing took us 16 days, and we felt relieved because we were expecting to stay for a few days at the Anchorage area before heading in for loading operations. As we approach our destination, we were already making plans for what we will be doing while our ship was at anchor. We were comforting ourselves with the thought of a few days break from the long sea passage. Unfortunately, we were informed that our ship will no longer stay at the anchorage area and will go directly to Kalama to load our cargo. As per the original plan, the cargo operation will take two days to complete. So we were thankful that we will at least get that much time as a break from our rough 16-day voyage and the upcoming two weeks ocean crossing ahead of us. So our ship is here once again at the port of Kalama in Washington, USA. As usual, we maneuvered in the evening time so I wasn't able to get any footage of the Columbia River. But we will be staying here only for a very short time, I think less than two days. So this voyage is basically the same as last time. Our cargo will be corn and it will be discharged in Japan. Since we will be staying here only for a short time, I don't think I'll be able to go out. But hopefully when the ship departs, it will be during daytime so I could get some footage of our transit through the Columbia River. But then again, the supposedly two-day cargo operation was shortened to 32 hours. Okay, so when I said that we will be staying here for only a short time, it really was. So we only stayed here for about 32 hours total. And now we're about to leave port and go back to Japan. We haven't even completely recovered from the long maneuvering through the Columbia River. And here we are again, heading out across the Pacific and back to Japan. So after about 20 days of crossing the Pacific Ocean from the US, we finally arrived here in Japan. So our ship is currently berthed here in the port of Shibushi, which is in Kagoshima, located at the southern part of Japan. We actually arrived here yesterday, but we still had to take care of uh, some stuff, so we're still quite busy. And since we crossed the Pacific for about 20 days, uh, everyone was so excited when they received their SIM card. So everyone just went straight to access the internet, <laughs> including me. So the good news is we will be staying here for about 10 days. So that's plenty of time to finish what we have to finish and still have a lot of time to just relax and maybe go ashore. Uh, but for today, the second day, I still have to take care of some stuff. So I won't be going out today yet. But some of the guys already went out and I asked them to buy something for me. Let's take a look. Cool. 
I went on shore leave on our third day in port. Shibushi is a city in Kagoshima Prefecture. It is located in the southern part of Japan, so it's not really very cold here, even in winter. My target destinations, of course, were the tourist spots and historical sites. As it happens, this area has two sites worth visiting. After walking for about half an hour, we have arrived at our first destination, Daijiji Temple. Daijiji was originally a temple of the Rinzai sect, built in 1340. It was destroyed in 1869, but restored in 1879. Further down the road is the Homanji Temple Ruins. We're here right now at the Homanji Temple in Shibushi. So we walked all the way here from our ship. It's about three kilometers or something like that. The oldest parts of this Buddhist temple was built during Japan's Nara period, around 720 AD. The other structures obviously came later, but a few of the older statues are still preserved. The garden and pond surrounding the temple were beautifully made. It's just too bad that we arrived about a month too early before the cherry blossoms were in full bloom. It's early February, so it's not really springtime yet. That's why you can see some of the trees. I think these are cherry blossoms. They are starting to flower now, but they're not yet in full bloom. So our timing was not just very good. If we visited here during uh, springtime, I bet this is a very, very lovely place because of the cherry blossom trees. As usual, after sightseeing and taking photos, next on our itinerary is food. Okay, so it started raining, so we have to cut our trip short. We're going to find some place to sit down and eat something. There were a lot of choices, but we decided to keep things simple. We picked a restaurant which served local dishes and did free Wi-Fi.
To be honest, these past two voyages of crossing the Pacific from Japan to the US and then back again really took a lot out of me. Originally, my contract was supposed to be for four months only, but by the time that we reached Shibushi, I have been away from home for six months. I was actually hoping to sign off from here in Japan, but unfortunately, the office wasn't able to find any reliever for me yet, so I had no choice but to stay. Our next voyage after we finish our discharging operations here would once again take us back to the US, the same place in Columbia River. And hopefully when our ship arrives there, my reliever would be ready and I'll be able to sign off and get a much needed vacation. Being on board and away from home for six months now, I'm starting to feel the effects of homesickness particularly for the ship because it's not equipped with an onboard Wi-Fi and our past few voyages took us through long and rough sea passages with hardly enough time for shore leave. Those long periods of feeling disconnected from the world is perhaps the biggest obstacle that seafarers face. It can wear them down and burn them out more than any rough sea or long hours of hard labor ever could. But of course, all contracts end eventually, and soon it will be my turn to go home. But until that time, I will have to soldier on and do my part.